Now, have you ever seen a bear and an uncovered foam? Do you know that it absorbs water? Okay, let's do this. Now, put a bear foam in a small bowl, quarter filled with water. It would absorb almost all of it, right? Do you know that because of this quality, it can be used to dry a wet floor? Now, just like the foam, there are substances in chemistry that can absorb water and so they are used to remove water molecules from other substances. Now, they are called drying agents. Now, so what have we learned? We have learned that drying agents are substances which have high affinity for water or moisture and remove water molecules from other substances. They are either deliquescent or hygroscopic. They are different from dehydrating agents which remove elements of water, that is hydrogen and oxygen atoms or intramolecular water. Drying agents which react with gases are not used to dry the gas, e.g. concentrated H2SO4 is not used to dry any 3 and H2S gas. Some examples are concentrated H2SO4 which dries all gases except NH3 and H2S. Fused CaCl3 that is calcium chloride which dries all gases except NH3 ammonia or calcium oxide CaO or quicklime which dries ammonia. P2O5 which dries all gases except ammonia and silica gel which dries all gases. Salt are usually dried in a desiccator. I hope you enjoyed that class. See you in the next class. Bye for now.